Welcome to the presentation entitled Moving from Interdisciplinarity to Transdisciplinarity by Sergio Singh Rai, Edward Van Kroll, and Marlene Zweikhorst from the Athena Institute of Rai Universiteit, Amsterdam. Moving from interdisciplinarity to transdisciplinarity entails not only crossing boundaries between disciplines, but also between science and society. The complexity further intensifies when international collaborations are sought, which require crossing cultural boundaries. With the current state of pandemic, as all works have moved to virtual platforms, an additional layer of complexity has been introduced to such boundary crossing initiatives. This case study explores the concept and experience of boundary crossing among students involved in the virtual interdisciplinary community service learning module convened by VU Amsterdam. The students and the course participated from universities in the global south and north and from different cultural and disciplinary backgrounds. What is interdisciplinary community service learning? Let's hear it from Professor Marlene Zweikhorst from Athena Institute, VU Amsterdam. My name is Marlene Zweikhorst and I'm Professor of Innovation and Education in Health and Life Sciences at the VU University. Issues of sustainability, digitalization, globalization, inequality are so complex and concern so many different parties that it can't be addressed from a single uh, perspective. The interdisciplinary community service learning modules are innovative education models which provide students from any program the opportunity to work on these 21st century challenges together with partners also outside of the university. The ICSL module. The five month online module focused on fostering interdisciplinary collaboration between master's students from diverse disciplines to jointly address complex issues related to four global topics. COVID-19, circular economy, food, and digital inclusion. Target students from diverse backgrounds collaborated to create a joint research report by assimilating knowledge from their disciplines. For means of weekly online team activities, the students experienced interdisciplinary collaboration. In order to move from interdisciplinarity to transdisciplinarity, student groups were connected with relevant stakeholders and experts from the Netherlands and USA to help them understand the issues from the local context. At the end, students co-wrote a joint research report on their respective teams and presented their findings at a large public event. Data was collected from the reflection sessions and analyzed using a thematic content analysis approach. Results. Here we take an example of the COVID-19 team. You can see that while the students in these teams commenced the module with skepticism over interdisciplinary collaboration and co-creation, they later came to together to address the issue in a holistic way. The module was largely helpful in fostering cross-disciplinary and cross-cultural competencies that facilitated knowledge sharing and integration. The connection with societal stakeholders and experts helped students ideate and recommend local targeted solutions from their global and interdisciplinary insights. This demonstrated how students were able to move a step further from interdisciplinary collaboration to transdisciplinary co-ideation. The virtual module provided a speedy, low-cost and low-resource platform for collaboration among students from Global South and North and in connecting them with stakeholders and experts located in the Netherlands and USA. This case study shows that through virtual module, disciplinary and cultural boundary crossing and transdisciplinary co-ideation is possible. The study recommends the use of virtual transdisciplinary collaboration by engaging local stakeholders and their diverse experiences and insights to engineer local contextualized solutions. Now let's hear it from the students about their experience in the module. Bitsyball, I'm Raphael from Switzerland. Ciao, I am Sera from Italy. Hello, I'm Jessica from Indonesia. Hi, I'm Joanna from the Philippines. Hi, my name is Raphael and I'm studying leadership and change management at the VU Amsterdam. My name is Jessica. I study master in psychology at the University Catholic of Atmajaya in Indonesia. My name is Sarah. I am from the University of Naples, Federico II. I'm Joanna and I am doing my graduate studies in women in development at the University of the Philippines. As you can see, we're students spread across the globe from different research fields. Together, we aimed to explore how the COVID pandemic impacted disproportionately affected groups in our society. The crisis had, has hit us all, but some were more affected than others, now and especially in the long term. 
With our research, we investigate some of these groups, draw attention to them, and try to distill some lessons for the future that we can take out of this. This group is really very diverse. We have different backgrounds, both cultural and disciplinary. This course has allowed us to learn a lot from each other. We have discovered new horizons that will be useful for our future work. We are really a great group. Here we meet a lot of friends from different countries. We examine the impact, the perceptions, and experience of COVID-19 among young people and established adults in a multi-dimensional and international perspective. We can collect perspectives in various countries around the globe where a multidisciplinary team of colleagues express very interest to join reports and to promote further collaboration. With our group's work, we are learning that by analyzing how the pandemic's cascade of social, economic, and health consequences impact sectors in various ways. When we understand sector-specific needs, this can help us create more inclusive pandemic mitigation and recovery response. So we invite you to create spaces that foster collaborative learning in international and interdisciplinary ways to address the issue of COVID-19 across the globe. Maraming salamat! Dankeschön! Terima kasih!